All right, so right now we're just in a not detecting kind of dealio. No bootable device. We're gonna do another, we're gonna do a hard drive check on this. We're gonna need to check because now it's just working. Yeah, this Optane SSD is already, it has already failed the smart check. Yeah, so this thing does need a new hard drive, which is, means it's gonna be an SSD. So let's pull it apart. See what we got. All right, so here we have ourselves a Dell Inspiron 17, I believe is what this is. It's a set, it's an Inspiron 7706. And the Optane drive appears to be failing. So let's see if this has an N.2. And if the Optane drive is failing, then the best option for this is to just straight up replace the Optane with a non-Optane just outright. Because what the Optane does is it obviously it accelerates the um, it, it accelerates a standard style hard drive, but if we can replace the standard style hard drive with an SSD outright, then you get all the benefits of this without any of the drawbacks of the old style hard drive. And you don't have to worry about actually purchasing an Optane drive, which is actually incredibly expensive. So on the bottom of this guy, we have one, two, three captive screws, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight non-captive screws. And they all appear to be the same length. So no need to worry about necessarily keeping them in any sort of order. If they were a different length in any of these positions, then 100% make sure you're keeping them separate. And the other thing we need to be aware of is this is a laptop that if there's a battery in it and you open the lid, it's gonna turn itself on. So we're just gonna go ahead first off and give this a quick unplug. And again, this Optane drive is like incredibly, incredibly hot. I guess let's just do a quick walkthrough of what we see when you open it up. So that way, you know, if you're ever taking one of these apart on your own, you kind of know what you're looking at here. This this has been, been opened before, it looks like. Looks like there's one more. Is there a screw underneath there? Who's holding this down? It's interesting. Anyways, we have our battery. We have our RAM slots, which, and this one here, both of them are occupied. Both of them are re user replaceable. We have our CPU die, our GPU die, and our cooling solution. You can see this guy needs a good cleaning, so we'll go ahead and do that before we give it back to him. We've got our speakers and our daughter board. Yeah, that's about it. And this is our this is our SSD, which is I'm not releasing from this for some reason. Come on. And there's our Optane drive. So the only thing that's going on with this is Smart has been tripped. So it's got it's a five it's a five twelve. So what I can what I should be able to do would be take this and actually directly clone it over. I'm a little bit confused about how this is supposed to get on and off of here. Because this should be permanent on here, and then it should just go in and down. Hmm. Very interesting. So let me reach out to her, make sure she's okay with it. I do have a 512 NVMe I can replace this with. 245, 235, 235, I can't do math. All right, she said go, go ahead and do it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do a clone. Let's 
get this set up. We're gonna put. Just gonna set this back on here. We need to get a power cord. Power cord out and plugged in. So we're gonna go from this guy over to over to the new one. And go ahead. Before we get into this, let me plug this battery back in. All the way. Open her up. Power it on. We need two regular USB ports, which we do have. Pull up our cloning software and hopefully Because we are going from NVMe to NVMe via USB 3, it should be quick. Get this turned on. Yeah, the internal drive isn't even showing up here. which is worrying. All right, I think we're gonna have to do this the hard way, which is doing a backup off of what they have currently, and then do a backup off of what they have currently, and then tell them that you're gonna have to reinstall everything because the Optane is set up as a RAID. So the only thing it looks like they're gonna have to do is reinstall their Carbonite. Yeah, I think they're gonna be fine. So, let me run my Faz Auto Backup on this. We'll do a full backup of the user account. And then they should. be good to go I remember what this is called auto backup pro all right I'm gonna back up our user data Is this, I think that we're in a situation with this where with this thing starting to crash, like the user data, it's all listed as like user. Uh, I can't access that, can't access that, can't access that. So it's gotta be this JPWHI. Yep, backup location is going to go to this IODD. Back up. New folder. See if we have enough. All right. Go ahead and let this thing run through. Now, let's install the new drive. So it makes me wonder, I have quite a few of these now that are failing. So I'm wondering what is causing these, these old Optane drives. I mean, this isn't even that old. I think this is like a 2019 Optane. actually say usually they'll have like a manufacturer date on them but this one doesn't 
and this computer isn't that old, we're looking at a, this is a 12th gen i7, I do believe. Oh, I guess I need to go into the BIOS. So we're gonna need to go in the BIOS and we're gonna need to disable RAID. So in here we need to change. So Cure Boot is fine, that's fine. What we need to change is we need to change the the drive configuration. Just leave this. So it needs to be AHCI NVMe, not RAID. Yep. And we apply. Hit OK. And then we exit. Now, in theory, this should just work. Right now we are moving, moving files. All right, so that's done. Get this. It's closed up. Need to get this shut down. And then give this over to the office manager to clean and do updates on. And then this thing will be good to go. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more about my services, check out bradentonpcrepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.